guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick and easy hair tutorial showing you how I do these curls. I wear, whenever I wear my hair curled on my videos, I do this same technique and I always get um, questions on how I did my hair, a hair tutorial, so I just wanted to do a video. I've done a video like this before, like a year ago, um, where I basically did this exact same thing. I even used the same curling iron, but um, I wanted to do an updated one for you guys because I know I have a lot of new viewers since then that probably didn't see that video, and I just want to show you how I curl my hair because I do get questions on it a lot. It's super, super easy, and like I think I'm going to say in the title of this video, it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do this just depending on how fast I'm working so it definitely doesn't take that long at all. Um, for me this is quicker than straightening my hair so that's why I curl my hair so much because it's super super easy for me and I love the way it looks and the way that I'm going to show you for me at least it makes my curls last all day and they last even into the next day if I go to sleep on them and I can wear second day curls which is awesome and I really really think it's because I use a great curling iron but with that being said the curling iron is not very expensive at all you definitely don't have to spend a ton of money to get like good curls. I don't think unless maybe you have really hard to curl hair then maybe you would have to I just use I think it's the it's this curling iron right here it's the Remington T studio I think it's called the pearl curling iron and I use the um, larger one they have another size of this and I actually think they've updated this because I was looking online and I think they like changed the colors of this and like updated one updated it to be like red and black so I don't know but I'm gonna search for it and I'm gonna link it in the description box for you guys so it might look different but I think it's the same thing <laughs> um, it's just like the Remington T studio in the larger size I love the curling iron and it's just this is really easy to do and I hope you guys enjoy it's super easy super basic I think you guys will be able to easily pick it up if you're like new to curling your hair and that's about it so let's go ahead and get into it okay so I'm just starting off with my hair blow-dried and I'm first going to go ahead and use a heat protectant to protect my hair from the heat and everything and this is the KQC thermal shine heat protectant so I'm just going to spray this in concentrating mostly on the ends because that's mostly what's going to be touching the curling iron and then I'm just going to go ahead and brush it out to distribute that. So the way I personally like to curl my hair and just what I find is the easiest for me is I like to go like do one side and then do the other side. So it kind of looks a little funny when one side's done and the other one isn't. But that just works the best for me. So I like to separate my hair, which I've already basically done, um, and just bring over the two sides. And I also like to curl from the back to the front. So I'm gonna start just on this side today and start with the hair in the back because I like to flip it over my shoulder when it's done and like then once all of the hair is done then I know that it's like finished. If that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab a section from way in the back and this is a little bit too big so I'm gonna take a little bit of hair off of that but I get sections that are about like this big I don't know I think it's like an inch or something like that and what I do is I just lay the curling iron on the top of my hair it's a little bit harder to get these pieces in the back it gets a lot easier um, when I move forward but I just kind of go like this make sure it's all wrapped around and then I probably would say I hold it on for like eight to ten seconds I don't know it really depends <laughs> if I have like more hair then I'll hold it on for longer and then I let it go and I hold it in my palm because this helps the curl to form even more I hold it for probably like five to ten seconds and then let it go and there's my curl and I just throw it over my shoulder and I like to repeat this all the way until I'm done with this side and then I'll go ahead and start on the other side so I will definitely show you guys again. I'm going to take this section right here. This one will be easier to show you. So I lay the curling iron. Um, if, it, if the piece is higher and I can get to it, I'll put it like this. And then curl it all the way down. And then just hold it. If you are nervous about burning yourself, this curling iron actually comes with a glove. And I think I just lost it. But I do this so much that I don't usually burn myself. But um, if you need a glove, you definitely can use one. And there's that little curl. And then I flip it behind my shoulder. This is a little smaller section, but I need to do this one. So I'll show you again. It's weird doing this without a mirror because I'm just looking in the little viewfinder. Okay. Hold it in my hand for a minute. Let it go. 
and flip it over my shoulder. So I think by now you guys probably get the picture. It's pretty simple, so I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and fast forward and finish off on this side. Okay, so I'm all done. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like it, and that's it. So I'll see you next... I can't even take myself seriously. Okay, so obviously I've done a half of it, and half of it is not done. Um, but that's basically what I do, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but I will um, go ahead and show you guys again. But what I like to do is just flip the section I've already done when it's finished behind my shoulders, and then I'll keep flipping these pieces behind my shoulders because these are the curled pieces, and this is what isn't curled up here. So, I don't know. I find that's just an easy way to do it. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing, just grab a section from all the way in the back here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, it's just that I'm using um, my different hand this time. So I'm going to angle it down, wrap it around. Of course my camera would stop recording in the middle of a curl, but um, then I just gather it in my hand, let it fall, flip it over my shoulder, and this is the same thing that I did on this side. I'm going to just do the same thing, and then um, once I'm done, I will show you guys what I do to like finish off the curls. Okay, so now obviously I've finished both sides, and it was super easy, and I would say that probably took me about 15 minutes. I can even do it in 10 if I'm working really fast, um, not filming or anything, so it's definitely a pretty quick thing, and I don't think you have to like put your hair in sections to curl it. I think that like whole little... I don't know how I do it, I just really like it and I think it's like fast and quick and easy to do and everything so hopefully that was like easy to follow along with. But now what I'm going to do to make the curls just look a little bit more natural and loose is I like to just take my hairbrush and I don't always do this but most of the time I do brush out my curls just a little bit, um, especially the ones at the front since they're so tight and it just kind of looks like you just curled your hair. So I just like to like seriously go so light with it because you don't want to like dig and like ruin your curls. If your hair is hard to curl, I would say don't brush them out. Um, but my hair holds curl pretty well. So I'm just going to do that a teensy bit. And I like how it just makes the curls, um, especially towards the front, a little bit more just natural looking. So now I have my curls all done and I want to make sure that this stays though for as long as possible so I always like to or usually like to use hairspray. So the brand of hairspray that I absolutely love is Sebastian and this is the um, Shaper original hairspray. You can get this at Ulta, places like that but I know Ulta has it. It's it, kind of expensive but it's definitely worth it in my opinion because this hairspray holds like your hair so well but it does not feel crunchy in the least bit like it feels like there's nothing in your hair but it holds it really well so that's why I love this hairspray I hate the feeling of like crunchy hair you can't even feel this is in your hair so I'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit of this not going crazy with it but and again mo mainly focusing on like the ends Okay, and that's it. I seriously can't even feel any hairspray in my hair, but I know that this is going to last, so that is great. So that is what I do. These are my curls that I always wear. Sometimes they're a little bit more fallen out in videos, but seriously, whenever you see me with my hair in like waves like this, I always use this curling iron and this exact same technique. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and if it was helpful, that would mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye. Hi guys, today's video I'm really, really excited about because I am doing a whole video on how I cleared up my skin and that feels so 